you're back. Yeah, man. So, Me's just got back to the office. While you were gone. Me had an iry time. While you were gone, Jim glued my desk drawers together. He changed my voicemail so that my voice sounded like a chipmunk. He told me that we had a meeting at 4 a.m. and I was the only one who showed up. Dwight, he turned please, over my please. I just got back from vacation, man. All right? So chill. Let's, don't, don't hush my mellow, man. What is this? What happened here? I don't know. Oh, this does not look good. Did anyone see what happened around my desk area this morning? Dwight, I really think someone's probably just playing a prank on you, so just go right through it. A prank, huh? This is official police line tape, okay? It's not a prank. Probably is. Damn it, people! Someone must have seen something! Oh, you people are useless. Jesus. Thunder Mifflin, this is Pam. Hold, please. Dwight, it's the sheriff. He said that it's really important. It's regarding your desk. I'll transfer. Oh, no, no, don't. Can I... I can't hit. Mm. <sighs> Just cut through it, man. It's no big deal. This is why I am a volunteer sheriff's deputy, and you are not. That is not why. Wow, man. He really wants to get in touch with you. Maybe it's a murder. No, there's no blood. Maybe poison? Possibly. My God! Uh... No, Jim, no! God. Sheriff, this is volunteer sheriff's deputy Dwight Schrute. Press the pound key. What's your 20? What is this thing you just sent me? Oh, it's really cool. It's a picture of the most relaxing meadow you've ever seen. Idiot. I know what this is. It's supposed to lull me into a sense of calm and then a ghoul pops up and scares me. Why would I do that? Dwight, of all people, I know that you're unscarable. Damn right I am. Oh, hello, relaxing meadow. I'm so relaxed and calm looking at you right now. Oh, no, a scary ghoul just popped up. I'm so scared, I'm so scared. Really? Is this the best you could? Jim, how are you? Ah! Ah! Okay. <clears throat> mm -hmm. That is the best I can do. All right, let's start. All right. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing, but you are my producer. You are a suit. I am the creative genius. You take care of all the boring stuff and let my mind just run free. Yep. Now we have eighty-five dollars and a Sam Goody gift certificate, nice. and we need to be done by nine a.m. tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Why don't you start by telling me what you got? We start on a single blank sheet of paper. Love it. And we widen to reveal ancient Rome. Mm, can't do that. Okay, we widen to reveal a spaceship blasting out of a woman's womb. Definitely can't do that. Man! You know this what? Okay, Scott, why don't you take your head out of the clouds and come back down to planet Earth so we can make a commercial? Ah! I'm just doing my job, man. If you don't let me pursue my artistic vision, I'm going to walk! Good, fine. I've got one Andy Bernard that will direct this puppy for half your fee. No, no, Jim, Jim, don't, what? don't, no, I can what? do it, I can do it, what? I can do it good. I can do it good. Please, don't. Please, please look at me over here. Okay, make a commercial. Do you want this open or closed? Closed. How many signatures do you have? Two. Three if I count myself. Nice. You're almost there. And it'll be four when you sign it. Three. And no. Do it. Did you ever think, and I'm just speculating here, that maybe you're part of the problem? I think I would know if I was part of the problem, Jim. You only have two signatures? Three. Okay, if I was part of the problem, and I'm just speculating here, what would you suggest I do? I'd smile more. You have a great smile. It lights up a room. Let's see the smile. Nice. Now, tense your chin. Pull your neck back a bit. Yeah, great. Now give me a wink. Perfect. You got me. 
right. this in the original matrix movie seeing the same cat twice was a glitch in the system it was proof that the matrix was real training the cat was both easier and more boring than i thought it would be it basically involved putting down little piles of treats the cat barely cared that it had to run through the ceiling why didn't we just get two black cats? Okay. Turns out, Glenn in the warehouse has a twin brother that Dwight doesn't know about. Ben. So we threw them in too. This just came for you. There's no men at this. Meet me in the warehouse. Hank? That is the name I allowed you to know me by while I watched over you, waiting for the time to approach. That time has come. And now, you may know my real name. Dorpheus. Dorpheus? I'm Morpheus's brother. But The Matrix isn't real. It's a trilogy of flawless, life-changing films and an online game. The first Matrix movie was a program written by my team to prepare people for the truth. But then the machines countered with their own program to make it seem as if a peace was achieved. So, there is no peace? There is not. Oh, that is terrible news. Dwight, we need your help. I would like you to join my underground army and help us wage war for the freedom of all humankind. Hank is good on his feet. Right? I told you he'd nail it. If you take the blue pill, you will stay in the Matrix. You will remember none of this. Life will go on as it is for you. If you take the red pill, I will open your eyes and you will see just how deep the rabbit hole goes. I'll take the blue pill. Wait, now the blue will keep you in the program. The red's the cool one. I understand. I'd like the blue pill, please. Well, maybe I didn't explain no, myself Dorothy, clearly. If you, you, no, you were very clear. It's just, God, you know, I really appreciate the work that you and your brother are doing. Appreciate's too small a word. But the timing is terrible right now. They just promoted me to manager. Plus, I own this building. I run a very substantial farm. And I'm getting married soon to a woman I love. And okay, yeah, maybe that love is just zeros and ones, but I don't want to lose it. No one hates machines more than me. But I'm happy. I'm truly happy. Aww. Are you kidding me? I hired 30 people. If the blue pill is not safe to swallow, someone should tell us now. 